What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grove here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 25,000 subscribers, I would really appreciate it. Today is actually March 7th. We are down here on Headwaters Lake. Me and my dad, we came all the way from Michigan. I think this is day six here on Headwaters Lake. My dad actually caught almost a seven pounder on day one, so that was absolutely incredible. It was his first fish of the trip, so that was crazy, but we've been using a lot of fast moving baits crankbaits spinnerbaits jackhammers and everything and we we haven't really had a ton of success over the last couple of days so we're gonna slow it down today use some worms sinkos just try to figure out these fish and try to figure out what these giant bass want but that's our goal down here we're trying to catch a personal bass largemouth bass today and hopefully hopefully today we will land a personal best largemouth bass down here in florida Well, my first fish of the morning, guys, is around like 8.30 right now. We're both throwing these big fat Ace Cinco's black and blue. I think my dad's throwing his weightless. I got a little clam weight on the front of mine just so I can feel it a little better, but I'm throwing a four-aught spear point hook. It seems like it's working pretty good for me. I like these spear point hooks. I use them back home in Michigan. I've caught a lot of fish on these things, but we're just working along all this hydrilla right now. There's a bunch of fish in here. We're marking all kinds of fish on bottom. So hopefully we can hook up and do a big one here soon. I think my sinkle, maybe as long as he is. I lost three big ones, like three to maybe five and a half pounds, and I'm catching the, I, I hooked the dinks. I don't understand. Using big fat ace, guys, made by Gambler Baits. We were on uh, Keenansville yesterday, and I just started using this, and I caught some decent fish. So we stopped at Fellsmere Bait and Tackle and picked up two more packs. Hopefully, uh, one of the Mondos want to hit this bait. Everybody says, I mean, all my life says the uh, Sinkles got the big ones. 
it does we just got to work slow and hopefully run into a, a few more it's still early yet working around this hydrilla and uh seems like that's where we're getting the bites at you can see the hydrilla it's kind of you know packed in here but there's a lot of isolated hydrilla and it seems like that's where the fish are right on the edge of the hydrilla leading off the deep water like right in front of me there's like a little ditch and now uh, we're working these little ditches that go through this hydrilla and i believe that's where the bigger fish are offshore probably you know a couple hundred yards First cast. Fish on! I think that's my first fish of the day. Is it or no? Have I caught one yet? I thought you caught a little one. Yeah, I caught one on a Cinco, I think. I think an even littler one. <laughs> thought this lake was had some giants in it. The heck? I guess we'll find them. Just a matter of time. But I just picked up the crankbait. My dad's been throwing that Seiko still. So he was throwing it weightless. I think he's putting a weight on it now. Yeah, it's a little deeper water. Yeah, it's a little deeper water, so we're working in the area where my dad caught that almost seven pounder the first day. So right next to where that ten and a half was yeah. caught the same day. Yeah, right where we seen the ton and a half caught as well so there's fish in here they're probably moving in and out every day maybe we'll get lucky Fish on, guys, on the Senko. There's a lot of fish in here. All right, decent one. We just came back to this spot and first couple casts. Fish on. Pretty decent one too. On the top water, big easy guys. I just tied it on. First couple casts with it too. Pretty sweet on the McMillan Magic color. It's all purple and black with silver flakes in it. But pretty good one. Pretty nice fish, guys. Uh -huh. Fish? Got a 
It's kind of on a weak beat. Super black. It's gonna be the blackest bass I've ever caught. That looks like a smallmouth almost. That's cool. Turn loose, guys. We just moved spots. We've already had like three hits. Just tied on a new color Senko. I think it, he said it's called an Ocho. Green pumpkin with blue swirl. On it. I'm throwing this big. I'm still throwing this big black and blue on. But we've been moving around a lot, trying to cover a lot of water. We've never fished in this area before. We're on the northeast side of the lake right now, right around the launch. Uh, just fishing a bunch of new water, trying to find some new fish. See if we can run into a big one. Flinging them in the boat. <laughs> it's pretty decent one, guys. Just still throwing that big seven inch black and blue Senko. I was actually, I just cast it out and I was just watching my line and I just see my line take off running like crazy. So that was pretty cool. I guess they want the Senkos today. It's like pretty much all we've caught fish on and also that wake bait. But, pretty nice one. Big one, guys. Pretty good one. Thank you, guys. Nice. That's probably my biggest one so far. Dang. Hell yeah, that's sweet. Well guys, check out that largemouth bass. I was just throwing that black and blue seven inch Senko and he freaking destroyed it. That's pretty much all we have been catching our fish on today. We've caught a bunch of fish on the black and blue Senko and I was throwing that spear point hook right there. I've been throwing that for about a year now and those spear point hooks work really good, but my biggest fish of the trip so far. So that is freaking awesome. Guys, I'm super excited about this bass. But gonna get it unhooked, get a get a quick picture real quick and put him back. But really nice one. Sweet, good job.
that was my big one. <laughs> I set the hook and he dove right down into the weeds. That's usually what those big ones do, it seems like, and they get off. go guys that's a freaking toad on the Senko they're freaking drilling the seven inch Senko it's a tank it's probably my biggest bass ever <laughs> that was awesome. I seen him jump out of water I was like, holy, holy shit. shit I fell over my run <laughs> holy crap guys Check out that freaking monster largemouth bass. It's probably my biggest bass ever. That's a freaking tank. Six pounds. Yeah, check that freaking bass out. He drilled the big black and blue Senko, the seven inch gambler one. We're just flipping around this canal right now and check out that freaking mouth on that thing. I was just, he had the whole Senko down his throat. My whole fist can go in his mouth. It was insane but that is a freaking monster. Um, I love coming down here to Florida. This, this bass fishing down here is absolutely incredible. But we're gonna weigh this thing real quick and put it back. <laughs> How's it going? All right guys, we're weighing it right now. It says six one. That is a freaking giant, my biggest bass ever down here in Florida. Anywhere, my biggest bass ever. That's a freaking tank. But really nice fish, my biggest one ever. We're gonna put him back. Awesome fish, Bill. Finally got a good one. What do you say? I love Florida. Yeah, I love Florida bass fishing. It's incredible. Fish all year long. It's crazy. I Give love coming down here. Yeah, back home in Michigan, we got about a foot of snow. It's like 20 degrees probably and here in Florida. It's like 80s, 90s right now. It's incredible. Me and my dad are bass fishing. How can you beat that? It's crazy down here. If you get the chance to come down here ever, um, I recommend coming to Florida bass fishing. It's incredible. But we're going to get back to fishing. That was freaking incredible. Catching my biggest largemouth bass ever with my dad. So... Really appreciate everyone supporting the channel and everything, but we're gonna get back to fishing and who knows, maybe we'll get a seven or eight. just came out. Perfect timing. Nice one guys. Good three and a half. On a wake bait. So he just moved spots too to the um, spot we fished this morning actually. We figured we'd end the day off here as well. Nice fish. Ooh, fatty. All right, let's turn a little.
moo to a, like a canal, guys. Two hits right away. Well, guys, that is going to wrap up today's trip out here on Headwaters Lake in Florida. Me and my dad had a blast, but the sun's going down. We got to get out of here before the sun goes down because the mosquitoes and the bugs get really, really bad. So we're getting ready to pack everything up, but it was an incredible day out here today. We caught a ton of fish and I landed my personal best largemouth bass ever. It was freaking awesome. 6-1. That is a freaking giant. It was it was super cool, guys. But really appreciate all the support and really appreciate everyone coming up to me and saying hi down here in Florida. I've been running into all kinds of people that support the channel and everything. So really, really appreciate each and every one of you that watches my videos. But stay tuned for all the content, and we will see you in the next one.